This is a one-minute hike of the Jeremiah Colburn Natural Area in Orono with BDN reporter Aislinn Sarnacki. So when I just want to get out in the woods for a short walk and I want to explore somewhere new, uh, one of the things that I do is go to the main land trust network on the internet and look at the different land trusts in the area. Uh, today I found the Jeremiah Colburn Natural Area by visiting the Orono Land Trust website. Uh, and I'm going to go check that out. There's a bunch of different natural landmarks and I'll bring you to them. There are some cool trees to see along the way um, and also a field that they maintain. So not far in from the trailhead on Forest Hill Terrace. I've got this cool wooden sign to help me out. So every once in a while you'll get to an Orono Land Trust sign that will help you navigate your way around if you've lost your way on the map. So we're going to keep going here towards Sally's Field and the big old tree. So just a short distance from the bridge we've reached Big Old Tree which is a big symbol and landmark for the Orono Land Trust. It's a part of their logo. It's raining, so I'm going to sit under the big old tree until I figure out where I'm going next because the trail splits here. It looks like no matter which way I go here at the big old tree, I want to be headed towards Sally's Field, which is where I want to go. If you don't like the weather, wait a minute. Now we've got sun and blue skies. Deer path. I'm here at the lightning tree. It turns out it was further past Sally's Field than I thought, um, continuing on the trail. And you can see they've cut down a portion of the tree because it was dead. There's a little sign on it. Looks like the lightning completely took off the bark. There are so many crows out here. It is weird. The next thing I'm about to show you is quite the treat. Okay. It described it this way on the website, by the way. This is the porcupine tree. And the reason they call it the porcupine tree is because of all the porcupine poop at the bottom of the tree. Now I'm gonna have to do some research on this because I don't understand how this happened. Or why? Oh, they're living in there? <laughs> 